Hey friends, we are talking about splurge versus save makeup products today. What should you invest in a little bit more, get a little bit more wear and performance out of it versus what can you maybe get at the drugstore and it's comparable, right? We're also gonna be talking about products that are a little bit more specific for women that are of a more mature age. And when I say mature age, I'm just, I'm saying like 35 plus because realistically at age 35 is roughly around when women start to experience some different things happening with your skin. You've got different skin texture. It might be a little bit rougher or drier. It also might be a little bit thinner. We also have discoloration happening. Um, we also have things like wrinkles, you know, little crow's feet, wrinkles and stuff all over. So you just need something a little bit different than maybe what you needed in your 20s. So let's get into it. What should you splurge on versus what should you save on? First up is concealer. Oh, splurge. Splurge on the concealer. I'm going to tell you why. Concealer is like the workhorse of your makeup routine. It can do everything from not only just sort of like color correct and mask some like imperfections and like little discolorations, but it really like brightens your face up at times, especially when we're talking about the eye area. It just, it works really well with the right color and the right formula. The other thing though that I would mention when it comes to concealer is as we age, especially in that eye area and other places that you would use concealer, we have wrinkles, we got little creases, and you really need a formula that's not only gonna be the right color, that's gonna wear for a really long time, but oh my gosh, it cannot set into those little fine wrinkles and creases. And I will say, I've tried some of the drugstore products, I think they've got a lot of great options out there. I think a lot of them look great when you put them on at first, but give it an hour and go back and check really close and you will see that it like, it gets into those fine lines. So 100% spend the money on the concealer and splurge. Foundation. I say similar to concealer, you should splurge on your foundation and hear me out why. So I get that the drugstore has got a ton of amazing products. I buy from the drugstore. I try these products. This one is super highly rated. People freaking love it. It's got really good ingredients. I think it has hyaluronic acid in here. Sidebar, I'm gonna do a review on this next week. I've been using it for a while and I've got some really good thoughts for you on it. But I'm just like a ride or die for like this It Cosmetics foundation. It's a little bit higher end in terms of price. But hear me out. It's got some different ingredients. It's got some anti-aging stuff. It has skin flex, skin flex technology in it. I just, when it comes to the drugstore versus the higher end, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's just me that's noticing this. The drugstore foundations, they're not as cheap as they used to be. This foundation cost me almost $25. I think it was like $24.99 to be exact. This foundation costs $40. And I do think that this one, like, I just like it. I think it's better for skin that has creases and wrinkles in it. This is still a good one, but I'm just saying like the price for 15 extra dollars, I would just get the higher end stuff. Another thing you will notice about the higher end foundations or things that you would find at the department store or maybe Ulta or Sephora is you're going to get more of a shade range going to those types of stores versus the drugstore. The drugstore has a ton, they've come a long way, but I still think you're going to have a better bet going higher end with your foundation. So I would invest a little bit more. You don't have to go crazy. You don't have to go like clay to Poe, $250 foundation, but for a couple extra bucks, I think it's worth it in the foundation world. All right, let's talk about blush. This one was super easy for me, no brainer. Go to the drugstore, save your money on this one. The drugstore has got some amazing products. They've got a huge shade range. They have anything and everything you could ever really want when it comes to blush. Even in terms of like consistency, like formulation, they've got powder, they've got stick, um, they've got like the creams and the tins, they've got full palettes, they have individuals, they have everything. They've got a huge shade range as well. You're gonna get like the really bright, fun, almost like electric neon kind of colors all the way down to more of like those everyday kind of like muted mauve tones. They also have different finishes which I think is really important, especially as we age, because you don't always want something that's really glittery or glowy because it can accentuate some of those little wrinkles and stuff sometimes. 
But the nice thing about the drugstore is that they have everything from matte to like a little bit of like sheen and shimmer to like really like glittery looking blushes. So hands down, this one was easy for me. Save your money on your blush, get it at the drugstore. All right, when it comes to eyeshadow, hands down, splurge. Splurge on the eyeshadow. But before we get into like all the little reasons of why, I'm gonna focus in on price. I really think you can get some good stuff that even though it's a splurge, it's not like super expensive. I know like the Urban Decay palettes, they can be kind of up there in price. You can like, the sky's the limit on a lot of this stuff. You can spend a ton of money, but you can also get some really good palettes and products that are higher end are gonna perform well, but they're really not gonna break the bank. I'll throw up some examples here. I will link some below, some of my favorites. I've got, this is pretty dirty. You can tell I love it because it's, it's worn. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you the inside, but It Cosmetics has some really good stuff. Tarte is another one that's got some really great eyeshadow palettes. Another one, now I think like, if you wanna save a little bit of money, try the ColourPop route. They have a ton of options. They're actually in more of like the drugstore area at, um, at Ulta, but they're considerably more affordable. Like they're a good in between. But now let's get into like why. Like why should you splurge a little bit on eyeshadow? Well, here's the thing. So when it comes to eyeshadow and as we age, Number one, you do not want any sort of fallout. And that is something that when I try the drugstore shadows, which I barely ever, like I won't even look at them anymore. They're chalky, they're like really dry and kind of crumbly, um, and they have fallout. And also a lot of times they don't last very long either. And when you have fallout, what will happen if you don't know what fallout is, is that the eyeshadow itself, like you put it on and then it's sort of like flaw, like falls out, like it falls and it flakes down onto um, this part of your eye. It then can get stuck in your concealer, can get stuck in those little nooks and crannies. It looks like a hot mess. You just really don't want that. The other thing um, that I have found sometimes, not recently, but definitely in the past, um, sometimes those drugstore eyeshadows really irritate my skin. And that's the last thing you want you, with anything, but I just feel like the skin around your eyes is just so much more delicate. You don't want to mess around with that. And finally, one of the things that I've noticed with some of the drugstore eyeshadow palettes is they're freaking sneaky and they will trick you. Like you'll look at it and it's got like this really cool like glittery you know, look to it and you get home and you like just rub on that, that color and that's like an overspray. Like it was just like, it was like frosting on a freaking cake. And so when you rub it, you're like, what the heck? You get like one application of glittery fun and then you get like some yucky color underneath that you didn't even want. You didn't realize that that's what you were actually purchasing. So I'm not a fan of that bait and switch stuff that happens. I find it's more often with like the um, limited edition or the holiday palettes, but it really just rubs me the wrong way. I do not like the drugstore eyeshadow. There's a very few minor exceptions to the rule. I think L'Oreal has got, um, I think it's like their infallible single shadows. Um, those are really good. Color Stay, if they still have them, I haven't even looked at the store, but if they still have them, I'll link them below. Those are really good as well. But also, those are single shadows. And by the time you would put a palette together, you might as well just get, get the real deal. So this is one I just think eyeshadow for my mature gals out there. Splurge, treat yourself. Eyeliner, mmm, <laughs> this one's so freaking easy. These, this next two are really easy. Eyeliner, save. The drugstore has got anything and everything you could ever need when it comes to eyeliner. And let's be real, what are we really looking for with eyeliner, especially as we age? We want something that goes on nice and smooth so we're not tugging and pulling at our skin. I got enough wrinkles going on there. I don't need to be creating any more on my own. And I want it to stay put right? Like, and I'm telling you, like the drugstore has it. Also, when it comes to eyeliner, I mean, there's only so many shades that you're really going to be looking for. It's usually like really dark black, black, dark brown, medium brown, auburn, sometimes a gray, and every now and then a fun color. But the drugstore has you covered. They also have all the different types of applications. So whether it's a pencil, whether it is a felt tip, whether you want like that 24 hour wear. Um, they even have the kind that are in like the little pots, you know, I'm not a fan of those personally. I have a really hard time applying it, but they have it. And it's just as good as the higher end stuff. So save your money on eyeliner and go to the drugstore.
mascara. Same advice as what I had for the eyeliner is get it at the freaking drugstore. Save yourself some money. Nobody's ever going to look at your mascara or, or your eyeliner and be like, oh my gosh, like, you know, is that Chanel? Is that MAC? Like they're, they're never going to notice. So you're just better off saving your money. I also think with mascara, like the drugstore has come such a long way over the past. I mean, I would say like the past five years, dramatically. I mean, there's so many dupes. I would have said a handful of years ago that like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara was like mm, my holy grail, I love it. But you know what? I'm pretty sure they have like that Lash Paradise stuff from Maybelline. I tried it a while back. Same dang thing for like a quarter of the price. Performs just as well. Save your money on mascara. Get it at the drugstore brow products. All right, this is the only one, the only one I swear, that is like, ooh, it kind of depends. It really, really kind of depends. And I feel like brow products, like, they got to do a lot. Like, they're almost as complicated as concealer. So if you're lucky, like me, and you've got bushy eyebrows, you can get away with saving some money. Go and get like a Maybelline or a L'Oreal or an e.l.f. type of product. I use like their $3 pencil on my brows because really all I'm trying to do is just fill in a few areas that are a little bit more sparse than the other areas. So if you can get away with it, like those products really are amazing for like the basics at the drugstore. However, however, if you want to be adding things like the little flex, the flex of, um, of hair, you want to be using something like an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz. If you have to like fully reshape your brow, like if your brows are really, really sparse and you need to go in with like a stencil and make sure you get it right, then I say splurge. And I would go with Anastasia Beverly Hills because honestly, like I think that they, they do it well. They do it well. They do all the things well. So that's my number one recommendation in terms of brand. It's still pretty affordable in the grand scheme of things, but if you can get away with the $3, do that. But this is the only one that is like an in between. It really does kind of depend what you need. Highlighter. Okay, this one, I had to think about it a little bit, but I feel like they've come a long way and I would go the drugstore route with the highlighter. I just think they've got some really great options there. Um, you're really looking for highlighter, right? To like pop up your cheekbones, maybe down the bridge of your nose, sometimes your lips or your forehead. And I just really think that, especially certain brands in the drugstore realm, they've got it. You can find what you need. You can save yourself a little change, get on over to the drugstore and get yourself a highlighter. All right, now when it comes to contour, I wish, I freaking wish that I could recommend going to the drugstore, but I just can't. I think you gotta go higher end for this. I have scoured the drugstore, multiple drugstores, multiple big box stores, really looking for that holy grail, you know, contour that's gonna have the right color, the right formula, the right staying power at a good price, and I can't find it, quite frankly. You get two or three options for every brand that's at the drugstore. They give you a medium and a dark, or a light and a medium. If you're lucky, a light, medium, and a dark but they're not the greatest colors and I've tried. There was a holy grail product that everybody loves and I tried it and I was so freaking disappointed. It was the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I don't know what it was. I hope maybe I got a bum batch, but whatever. I tried it, super chalky, not the right color, Ugh, would not recommend. And also like when you go to the higher end stores, you can find not only the right colors and the right consistency, even like cream or powder, like whatever you really like, even sometimes in like the little like stick form. So you've got maybe a little bit more control with where you place it. Um, but I just think like the texture is better. And I also think you get more bang for your buck. So even their palettes are better at higher end. So like contour, just hands down, and a little bit extra splurge on your contour. Okay, here's where I'm going to make a liar out of myself. So earlier I mentioned the only like product that I would say is kind of like an in-between or a maybe was the brows. Ugh, I think I'm gonna apply it to the lips as well, but for a very different reason. So when it comes to lips and as we age, often we will start to get little fine line wrinkles and creases and you really need to make sure you get a lip product that's gonna stay where you put it. 
when it comes to formula, when it comes to shade range, go to the drugstore. They have anything and everything you could ever freaking want, whether it is a lipstick, whether it is a liquid lipstick, whether it is a, a gloss, or even like a matte liquid lipstick, they've got everything. They have everything you could ever want at the drugstore. But the one thing that they don't have is really cool packaging. So here's the deal. If you're gonna be putting on your lips at home and leaving the house and not reapplying them, then 100% go to the drugstore. However, if you are maybe going to be reapplying later in the evening or throughout the day, or maybe you've got like a cute date or something, and you know, like you, you open up your little purse and you've got your lipstick or your gloss, I would kind of say splurge if packaging is important to you because let's be real, like some of this packaging is freaking amazing and some of it is like reusable where you actually buy the tube of the lipstick and then when you're done using the lipstick, you throw it out and you get a refill and you pop it back in, you've got this cool tube. I just think that there's something very experiential and like kind of like beautiful and sometimes classy about having a really beautiful lipstick tube that you pull out and apply your lipstick and you know, that little noise that it makes when you put it back in. Oh, I just, I don't know, like when it comes to formula, the drugstore has anything and everything you could ever need, even for lip pencils. But if you want a really cool lipstick container, mm -hmm, I would go higher end. There was one, I was looking for the Louboutin nail polish and I stumbled across this lipstick that they had. I didn't even know that they had it. Um, but I saw the, the case and granted, girl, it's pricey. It's really pricey. But I was like, it's on my list. It's on like my little mini wish list of like things that I just think would be so cool to have. So I don't know. I'd be interested in your thoughts on this one, but I really just think formula wise drugstore has it, but if you want some cool packaging, splurge a little bit, go to the higher end. All right, that is it for today with the Splurge versus Save beauty products. I would love to know, do you agree? Do you have different recommendations or things that you would do differently? Please let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching this video. I would love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it for notifications. That way you never miss an upload. And until next time, see ya.